Hey guys, I just wanted to post an update on my pickup truck build, my 98 Chevy 3500, K3500 dually. I had, so now I have the uh, truck vault. It's an eight foot bed, so I got the truck vault. I had the cargo glide in there, but it took up way too much room. And uh, I'm gonna sell that, so I took it out. And now I can fit sheets. Uh, I haven't really figured out how many, but I mean, probably two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I guess I can measure it. Half inch drywall. Let's see what I can do. So I have, let's say, five and a half inches here. Yeah, five and a half. So, uh, what can I fit in here? Ten? Yeah, it's pretty cold, but I <laughs> think I... So, ten, uh, 11 sheets, I guess. But, ten to be safe. That's a pretty decent amount of... Or, you know, decent amount of sheet goods to put in there. I mean, it's definitely not a full truckload, but... <sighs> better than what I had before. When I had the cargo glide in there, I couldn't get any sheets because um, the width here in my cap is only 46 inches. And uh, I didn't know that before I bought it, so kind of got stuck with it. I really like it, but uh, except for that part of it. But honestly, I don't carry a lot of sheets anyway. If I'm, I have trailers like this one right here. That's a four by eight trailer. I also have an equipment trailer. I can use that for, I got two trailers, a dump trailer and a, equipment trailer so this will be good for uh small jobs a few sheets of plywood you know uh i guess uh what how many sheets of three quarter can i get in there uh so two would be inch and a half two four six uh three uh eight I guess something like that man it's cold out here and windy but um yeah so I'll be filling these drawers here I emptied everything out I'm gonna start all over again um, because uh, I'm gonna try to work out of the pickup truck instead of the van I'm gonna try that for a little while and uh, so the only thing I think I might put up here is a chop saw and table saw all the way in the back. And then when I, uh, I don't know, when I, when I need to carry sheet goods, I'll have to take it out. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. It's pretty cold, so it's hard to, hard to talk, hard to think, but uh, man, what a pain. And that cargo glide. I'm thinking it weighed 400 pounds. It's crazy. So, hey, at least now I could get several sheets of drywall, plywood. I can get insulation rolls, even though that's the thing I hate the most, insulation. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can carry a decent amount of supplies now with this. I just can't carry anything longer than eight feet, but, um, except could but it would be sticking out so I'd have to figure out a way to strap it um, leave this open or bring it down a little and then tie it up yeah that's not that'll work or I could put a pipe on the top of the cap to uh, to carry long pieces of pipe um, so yeah it's got the the cargo vault and it's got the uh, side boxes you know on both sides so can't really fit much in these i mean you can fit a circular saw and a nail gun and stuff like that but it's not too deep you really can't put toolboxes or organizers in there but um yeah so this will be my new i mean i'm not getting rid of the van but i want to see how i make out transitioning over to the pickup truck it would be nice if I could use just one vehicle. Uh, my G3 
transmission was giving me some problems in the van, but it turned out to just be low on transmission fluid. Um, so I'm gonna need a transmission service on that. Transmission's rebuilt a few years ago and I didn't really put that many miles on it. But yeah, I'm starting to, starting to feel it, having two vehicles and having to keep up two vehicles and spending, uh, you know, around two grand or more a year just to keep them going during uh, reinspection. But, uh, yeah. The only thing I got to do in this is uh, I've got the uh, the steering is a little loose. So there's uh, something in the steering uh, leakage in the front called a rag um, joint. Not sure exactly the right term for that, but... I told the mechanic to tighten up my steering and they just tightened up the actual steering wheel. They didn't, I guess they didn't know what they were looking at. So I didn't really either until I did a little research, but figure you bring it to a mechanic and they're supposed to know what to look for. But uh, yeah, I'll replace that. I think I'll hopefully uh, take a little bit of slop out and it'll drive like a new truck again. And then I want to, um, install some heat shield, some new heat shields in the engine compartment to uh, shield the the exhaust manifold from the floor because I got a lot of heat coming in in the summertime. So that's about it. Other than that, it's been great. So I'm um, going to be um, rebuilding my stump grinder. I don't know if you can see it. I got the engine off and it's right here. Uh, I should try to record this stuff, but sometimes I just got to get it done and it's uh, a little hard to, I got to get used to that, getting the camera ready and filming. But that's my Rayco RG1635 track. Uh, I'll take some more video during the day so you can see it. And then I also have a handlebar machine picked up so uh get back into stump grinding and um this truck will be will serve me for uh, everything i do you know pull trailers i could even pull equipment trailers with it can't do that with the van the most i can pull with the van is uh, uh not much i don't want to kill it it's only a half ton and uh I'm a little bit uh, leery of pulling with that now because, uh, you know, I don't want to kill it. It's just a half ton. Um, I took the brake controller out of it because I had one when I bought it, but I'm never going to, I don't want to trailer anything anymore with that. That's, that needs a brake controller, you know? So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video now because I'm getting really cold. Um, all right, guys, have a good night.